Okay, so uh, we have come again to our classes of today. So history lessons, continue our history lessons, lesson 14. So we'll be looking at reasons for African collaboration with European powers. But if you're new to my YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe. Look below, you see the red button. Hit that red button, hit the notification bell, so that when I produce my next video tomorrow, you'll be the first to be informed. So on this channel, actually, we are studying economics, history, and geography. I will also study other subjects in a minor uh, way. So but our main focus is economic, history, and geography. So right now, let's enter into it. Reasons for African collaboration with European powers. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. Why did some African leaders opt to work with Europeans? Many African leaders engaged with Europeans primarily for economic advantages, protection, and the preservation of their political authority. So here we have three things or three most important points why some African leaders actually collaborated with the European powers. First was the economic advantages. The second was protection, right? Protection from other, maybe other tribes, protection from other neighboring uh, uh, threats or protection from other European powers. And the thirdly was, is, uh, and the preservation of their political authority. So they had to protect their spiritual authority, uh, their political authorities, right? So they need uh, preservation of it. So during the late 19th and 20th centuries, Africa was abundant in resources, but also fragmented by tribal and ethnic tensions. The arrival of Europeans armed with advanced technology and weaponry posed both a threat and opportunity for African leaders. Some leaders saw collaboration with Europeans as a means to gain leverage over their rivals safeguard their own power safeguard their own power and bring prosperity to their communities the pursuit of economic benefits played a crucial role in this decision european powers european powers introduced trade and commerce providing african leaders with access to goods and markets that have previously been inaccessible so we are still on the why african leaders collaborated with european powers okay so we continue it says they also brought new agricultural techniques and crops which could enhance productivity and food security in exchange europeans sought access to africans natural resources such as gold diamonds and ivory For some leaders, the economic gains made collaboration a compelling choice, right? So another motivating factor for some African leaders was a desire for protection. So I've seen the economic, uh, the economic aspect. Now we are looking at, we are looking at the political. You see, another motivating factor for African leaders was a desire for protection. So we look at the protection side. Europeans possessed superior military technology, including firearms and artillery, which could be invaluable in defending against external threats. So some actual African leaders actually needed this so that they were able to uh, fight against their own neighbors or to be able to have superior power over their own uh, neighboring tribes or villages. By aligning with Europeans, African leaders could bolster their defenses and protect their communities from rival tribes or ethnic groups. Additionally, they might utilize European military support to expand their territories. So most of them expand their territories and were able to defeat others and gain take over their territory. Maintaining political power was also a critical consideration. The Europeans often favored those African leaders willing to cooperate, offering political support and legitimacy 
that could reinforce their authority and deter challengers. So they, they got approved, this leader approved that chief, approved that king, so that uh, they'll be able to collaborate very well with these guys because they're able to give them access to the resources. So they had to give them full legitimacy. Con conversely, African leaders who resisted European influences often face deposition or marginalization. Their power undermined by the might of colonial forces. So that is what happened to leaders who opposed these European powers. Now we are going to look at... Uh, it's, it's essential to recognize that collaboration was not always a voluntary choice for African leaders. In many instances, it was a pragmatic response to the realities of European colonialism, a survival strategy in a swiftly evolving, evolving environment. The ramifications of these decisions, both beneficial and detrimental, continue to influence Africa's historical trajectory and ongoing development. So that is... Uh, that is it about of our studies today. So that is about for reasons why African collaborated with European powers during colonization. So guys, that is all today. So you can share this video with other students, right? Now, many students who don't have a means to attend a class. Some of them don't even have the school fees, but if you can share this, it can help them to have studies from home. And so, because we study history from ordinary to advanced level, so just share it on WhatsApp forum, share it on Facebook, so that others might get access to this free history class. Thank you, guys.